Canada is proud of being a strong long-term and reliable economic and development partner to Vietnam throughout the decades and will continue to play that role well into the next phase of bilateral ties. Minister of International Development Ahmed Hussein said at an event held on Tuesday in Hanoi as part of his visit to Vietnam. Since the early 1990s, Canada has contributed close to 1.8 billion U.S. dollars in assistance to support Vietnam's efforts to reduce poverty and inequality through growth that was for everyone, particularly women and girls. And Canada pledged to continue to be with Vietnam and work with Vietnam on its priorities in achieving sustainable and inclusive growth for everyone. This is about making sure that uh, we have inclusive economic growth that includes everyone, including uh, ethnic minorities and, and communities that, um, that are uh, more uh, economically marginalized than others. And this is an example of Canadian uh, development uh, resources in conjunction uh, with private businesses can actually unlock private sector investment in uh, social impact business. You know, both in Vietnam and in Canada, uh, we have social impact businesses that, uh, of course, uh, focus on getting a profit for their economic activity, but also having a very positive social impact. As part of the strategy, Minister Hussein said Canada sets out 40 million Canadian dollars in funding that is set to further contribute to the development objectives, which will be done via projects such as improving the economic conditions for vulnerable groups through social impact investing, supporting gender-sensitive and climate-smart infrastructure through public-private partnerships in Vietnam, supporting the resilience of vulnerable coastal communities, the socio-economic well-being of ethnic minority women in the agricultural sector, enabling disadvantaged rural women working in unpaid care work to be able to participate in paid economic activities and improving climate governance through high-quality, inclusive, gender-responsive forestry carbon projects. The number of international students studying in Vietnam increased by 8 to 10 percent per year in the 2018 to 2023 period, the Ministry of Education and Training has reported. About 22,000 international students have studied in educational institutions across Vietnam through scholarship programs and agreements, other scholarship trainers, and self-financing arrangements, excluding those joining short-term training and research courses. Vietnamese educational institutions hosting international students regularly organize cultural, artistic, and sports exchange activities providing opportunities for international students to get insights into Vietnam's cultural traditions and its people, while helping Vietnamese students understand more about the culture of other nations. Upon completing their studies in Vietnam, many foreign students have actively engaged in developing cultural, educational, diplomatic, economic, and political relations between the countries with Vietnam. EU's firms rank Vietnam in top FDI destination. Thung Nham Birds Park a pal palace to admire the bird ecosystem. Now among the 1,300 uh, 1, European businesses inquiring about the investment climate in Vietnam, up to 63% listed the countries among the top 10 destinations for foreign direct investment firms. During the 10 months, 108 countries and territories poured money into Vietnam. Singapore topped the list with nearly 4.65 billion US dollars. It was followed by the Republic of Korea and Hong Kong, China. Meanwhile, China took the lead in the number of new projects, which accounted for nearly 22 percent, and the Republic of Korea ranked first in terms of the projects with additional capital and capital contribution and share purchasing transaction. A number of giant multinationals have been present in Vietnam, including Apple, Nike, Morgan Stanley, Intel, and Google, among others. Standard Charter Bank forecasts Vietnam's GDP growth to reach 6.7% in 2024, 
specifically 6.2% in the first half of the year and 6.9% in the second half of the year. According to the global research report, Vietnam stronger but not easier. In 2024, retail sales and industrial production will remain stable despite the recent correction. Import and export are starting to recover, although e-commerce has not yet seen clear signs of recovery. FDI recovery is still lackluster, with signs of stronger recovery of FDI inflows require faster GDP growth. Tung Yam Bird Park, located in the famous Tung Yam ecotourism area in Ninh Bình Province, is a nature reserve that still keeps the pristine wild beauty, tropical forests, immense rivers to be a good palace for many rare and precious birds. Tung Yam is also the largest nature bird park in the north of Vietnam. Tung Yam Bird Park is located at Hai Nam Village, Ninh Hai Commune, Hualu District of Ninh Binh Province. The bird garden ecotourism area is about 12 km east of Ninh Binh city center and is located in Hualu private forest with limestone sandstone, which is created in the middle of the relatively flat coastal plain in the north of Vietnam. This outcrop of limestone is interspersed with a series of regularly watered creeks and seasonally flooded valleys. The absolute elevation of the region is from 10 to 280 meters. Tung Yam Bird Pass spreads over an area of more than 300 hectares. It's a residence of about 40,000 birds, 5,000 bird nests of all kinds, which belong to 46 species of birds, in which there are many bird species recorded in Vietnam's Red Book. Tung Yam Bird Park is also home for 109 species of plants, 150 species of animals, including 58 species of fish, 7 species of amphibians, 10 species of mammals are in urgent need of conservation and development. Every sunset, when the birds return, you will feel the wonderful pristine beauty that is hard to be found anywhere else, sitting on the boat down the gentle water. Listening to the sound and watching the flocks of wild stocks, birds, will be a great experience. <laughs> 